Assalamu alaikum friends. Let's make this easy recipe for custard delight cups. Make this dessert for any party and I can guarantee it will be the star of the show. The full recipe will be in the description bar below. Let's start with making the custard. Add about 1 4 cup of water and 7 to 8 tablespoons of sugar. Let that come to a boil. On, in the meantime, let's take half a cup of cold milk and add 6 to 7 tablespoons of custard powder. I added a bit more later because I wanted a brighter yellow color. I used Laziza brand but any brand will work just fine. Mix it until there are no clumps left. Once the sugar has dissolved, add 2-3 to three cardamom pods and then add 3.5 cups of milk. I'm using 3.25% milk as it lets the custard become a bit more creamier. Stir the milk occasionally so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Let the milk come to a light boil and then we're going to add the custard mix. Continuously stir this on medium heat to make sure that it doesn't burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. It's really important that you don't burn it because that burned flavor seeps into the custard and it tastes really bad. I'm speaking from experience. So I did add a little bit more custard because I wanted it to have a brighter yellow color. And then you just want to thicken the custard to your liking. I kept it at um, medium consistency because keep in mind that you don't want to thicken it too much at, because it, after it cools, it does thicken naturally a bit more. So this is how thick the custard is and I'm going to leave it at this consistency because it will thicken even further in the fridge once it cools. Next, I made regular strawberry jello. I followed the box instructions and it was simple to make. Let those two things cool for a few hours or preferably overnight. Next, let's make the biscuit crumble. I use 50-50 biscuits. I add about two packs to a Ziploc bag and crush it with my hands. I then crush them further with a rolling pin. You don't want, to be, you don't want it to be completely crushed. A little bit of texture is good. I then added 3 to 4 tablespoons of melted salted butter to combine it together. You can use unsalted butter as well. I found that the salted butter tasted equally as good. You just mix it all together and then it's time to assemble the cups. You want to assemble the cups a few hours before your event so that they can chill in the fridge. Here I am cutting the jello into squares, but this step is completely optional. I found that you don't really need to cut it, you can simply use a spoon to cut the jello and pour into the cups directly. So I bought these cups from the dollar store and they only had this one design. It came as a pack of 10. If you don't have a dollar store nearby, you can also find these cups on Amazon. Amazon also has different designs, which is really nice. Plus they come in larger packs. I'll post a link in the description bar of that as well. Now it's time to assemble. First, we're going to add a layer of custard. Then you want to add in your crushed biscuits, followed by another layer of custard. Then you add a layer of jello. You can fill the cups all the way to the top, or you can fill the cup about three quarters of the way, just like I have done here. You can pour your custard in the cups by spoon, or you can use piping bags like I am. It helps to give a clean and sophisticated look. I will post a link to the piping bag set that I use in the description bar below. At the end, add whipped cream. You can use store-bought ready-to-use whipped cream or you can make your own. I bought 35% whipping cream and beat it in my mixer with 1.5 tablespoons of sugar. So it was not too sweet, it was just the right amount of sweetness to balance everything. The sugar also helps to stabilize the whipping cream so that it doesn't just melt when you put it on top. Add the whipping cream on top and you want to serve this chilled. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comments below how it turned out for you.